Now to our other top story, the city keeps nailing him for animal cruelty for the way he treats his dogs. It has gotten so bad they banned him from owning animals. But it looks like he's back at it. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live along Central near 50th with that story. Rebecca. Yeah, well, Dean, Deep Sea Scuba is that man's business, and it's here where he got popped again for neglecting his dogs. Animal Welfare says they found two dogs locked up outside this business with no water and no shelter. From the barking to the stench of animal waste, people have been reporting issues with an Albuquerque man's dogs since last year. They leave them dogs in there for at least 12 hours at a time, so those dogs are urinating and pooping in their kennels. Andrew Ortiz lives next door to Enrique Castaneda in the Westgate area near Unser and Tower. We spoke with him this past summer when he'd reported his neighbor to the city. He wouldn't do anything, so it was just getting very frustrating. For that, Castaneda was cited for animal cruelty, but that was already his third strike in Albuquerque. He was also charged with animal cruelty last year and a second time this summer when officers found his dogs malnourished and injured. Then, in late October, animal welfare was called to his business, Deep Blue Scuba, on Central. Someone reported his dogs wouldn't stop barking and was concerned about their health. When officers arrived, they found two dogs in this fenced-in area with no water and no shelter. Animal Welfare knocked on the front doors and heard more dogs barking inside. It just so happens five days earlier, the city signed an order for irresponsible owner determination, meaning Castaneda can't have any animals in the city. Now, animal Welfare says Castaneda will not be able to have any animals in the city for at least two years. They also say he was enrolled in the Responsible Pet Ownership School, but he never attended. Dean, back to you. Okay, Rebecca, thank you. Animal Welfare says Castaneda moved his dogs to his property in Los Lunas back in October. We exposed the problems there.